Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 17 Team of the Season player review on my channel. So in today's episode, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 87 rated Kaka. So in 16 games from the camp position, he managed to get me 8 goals and 1 assist, which is okay, but not the best. So if you do want to go and pick this guy up and try him out for yourself, his price range on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 is 21,000 to 200,000 coins, and he's settled to around the 60,000 coin mark now on both consoles. So as you can see there, he has some really nice in-game stats such as 88 long shots, 90 short pass, 92 penalties, 83 shot power and 94 volleys. As long as that, he has the 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot and the specialities he does have is injury prone and finesse shot. Even though he does have the injury prone trait, I didn't really think he got injured too many times. I'm not even sure if he actually got injured once um, within the 16 matches I played with him. So we're actually going to start with his cons now. Now... This card actually has quite a few cons. I was actually pretty disappointed, you know, overall with the card. It had, you know, a few really good standout stats, um, such as, you know, some of his shooting stats are very good. But apart from that, he's not very good. I'm going to be honest with you guys, you know, I was pretty disappointed. Um, his free kicks are really good. That's a really big pro about him. His free kicks are amazing. As you see along um, with his free kicks, he's really good at volleys as well. Because, um, of course, he has 94 volleys in game. But apart from that... He's not really good, and I think just because he doesn't really meet the meta of FIFA, you know, he's basically the complete opposite. Opposite, He's not very strong, and he's not very pacey, you know. So, in the camp position, you know, 8 goals, 1 assist is alright for 16 matches, but I just thought, you know, I was trying to get the ball to him too much, and I think if you just played him in your team, um, you know, usually you probably wouldn't get, you know, anywhere near the same return, so... Not very impressed with this card, and as well as this, even though it says he has 75 pace, to me it felt like he had like 60 pace, um, you know, it wasn't very good at all, and you know, he literally couldn't run past anyone, so you always have to, you know, do little one-twos, or say for you like for on goal as well, defenders always seem to catch up with him, so that's an, one of his cons, and then another con is his stamina, it's honestly terrible, um, around the 50th minute, 50 to 60 minute mark, he just seems to, you know, go into the red stamina for like the rest of the match, so it's really hard to, you know, get a full match out of him. So, if you're like a Kaka fan, um, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are, you can try him out, you know, just for the free kicks and just to see what it's like. But overall, I wouldn't recommend trying him out. So, guys, this has been the review. Thanks for watching and see you.